I will open ProDad the fish are. It asks me to either import media or drag video into the media bin. So I will select from Explorer video I want and I drop it into the media bin. And so now I have my video that I want to get rid of the fish eye distortion. The other way I could have gone to my media import and clicked on it and it could have selected my file. But uh, I just did a drag and drop out of Explorer. Once I have my video in, I will go to my camera profile box. And at the top of that camera profile box, in the select profile, I pull that window down and I go down the list until I find the appropriate camera, which is the DJI Phantom to, uh, 1 slash 2 FC 200. I'm going to select it. And if you notice, as soon as I selected it, you saw some of the fish out of solution come out of the drawing. Okay, the next I'm going to go over to view mode, which is the box just to the right of, of the camera profile. If you notice, there are three views that you can select. Right now it's in view results or the original video, which has the fish eye in it, or you can go to the compare view. So I'll go to the compare view just so you can see the difference that is created by the fish eye to uh, correct for your fish eye distortion. If you notice over to the the original video shows up on the left hand side and on the right hand side is your corrected view the the fish are and if you notice over to the right of it it has uh, there's a white vertical dumpster actually and it, uh, the vertical lines are leaning so to correct for that I'll go back up to the top in the additional correction box and you've got a number of selection here. You can change the lens zoom, you can shift it to the X axis or the Y axis, or you can tilt your camera, and you can change your pan, and you can change your roll. So there are features that come in handy in this program to get rid of some of the problems you may have with your original video. So the first thing I'm going to do to make these uh, vertical lines on that dumpster more upright. I'm going to adjust my tilt and I'm going to adjust it to minus 12. And now if you notice the uh, lines are pretty much vertical now. So once that is done we will go down to the bottom of the view screen and if you notice right at the bottom you've got a timeline and that's the timeline of your video and also you have two buttons. You've got your start button and to the right of it you have your stop button. So I'm going to go ahead and, and start it. Okay, let's lift it off and if you notice now you can really see your distortion on your horizon on the left hand side and you can see how it's been corrected on your right hand side and we will continue on. And I'll stop it here. If you notice over to your uh, original video screen you see that uh, the prop guard shows up in the top left of, the, of that view. But if you noticed on your on the right, your the fish are correction that you don't see it. And the main reason for that is is that the uh, in doing this correction, it has to crop out at a uh, part of your view. But if you would look at it from a flat standpoint, you'd have like an hourglass effect on your view just to give you some idea of what it would look like I'm going to zoom out and you can see what has happened and this gives you some idea of how it corrects it takes the distortion it has to distort that view and in the process it uh, corrects it back out so I'll zoom back out to 100 and there we go so that, that gives you some idea of why it has to crop out because it has to crop out because the edges are, are distorted. And so to get rid of your distortion, that's part of the process. And if you notice down at your timeline, that you can go ahead and we can go ahead and speed through. OK, 
Can you notice in your right hand corner of your corrected view, you can still slightly see the prop card. It's just up there in that top right hand corner. If you want to get rid of that, and you can make, you take the zoom and adjust it. So we'll go up and adjust it to 102. And at 102, we completely lose the prop card, so you don't see it anymore. Okay, once you have uh, completed all your adjustments, and uh, you feel like make a final video with the uh, corrections in it, you go up to your top left, you will notice there's export. So click on export, and it brings up a, a different different bar will show up at the top. And in that bar, you've got control, settings, and view mode. So if you want to change your default directory, and this particular one is uh, uh, users, Sunny Aurora uh, documents. But if you want to change it, just click on your export files into another directory, and then you pull up your directory and put it in whatever directory you want to put it in. Okay, once you've done that, go to the right of it in the quality. And it defaults into medium, which is recommended, and, and I recommend it too. I've, I've, if you notice, there are three settings. It's a high medium. The high setting, I've had some problems with uh, getting some jitter uh, in my final video. So I use medium as recommended. And also, if you go right of that, you see you've got uh, two different views that you can make your correct video in. You can either do it in compare view, which it's in now, or you can s switch it to the uh, view results, which shows your corrected video. For the purpose of this video, I went to compare so we could see the difference. So at that point, I went over and I hit the start export. And once you do that, uh, save the file in your directory, which is shown in your settings and the file name will be the same as your original video which was in your media bin which in this particular case it was the fish or comparison one and that was an m2ts file okay now that we've uh, seen how this program works i've got the end result of the video uh, will come up next and you'll see the end results in the uh, video.